Hi guys, it's Anne here. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. So this was in my monthly palette picks, and unfortunately you can't get this palette anymore. At least I couldn't see it on the Too Faced website. But I still wanted to do this video anyway. I'm sure some people have this palette, so maybe this will inspire you to bring it out again. I was also looking at the new pumpkin spice palette and it looks like there's some shades in there that are in here I feel like probably the original palette probably has some overlap as well so this is what the palette looks like it's very um, once you start using it it's very pink and orange <laughs> that's basically the two themes you get and then you have this one random color I actually out of this whole palette I wish they didn't put this in here it's not a bad shade I mean it's fine but it really doesn't doesn't play well, doesn't play in a good way or in an easy to do way with the rest of the palette. If this had been like a sparkly plum, uh, I think that would have worked a little bit better. Even like a navy, like a navy blue would have been better. It just doesn't really work. Anyway, I'll put swatches on the screen so you can see the swatches. Uh, it's just a photo. <laughs> I did try and film actually like swatching this out. And it just wasn't working. I was having a rough go at it. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> We're just going to take a photo, which I kind of feel like the photo is never, it's okay. It shows the swatches. You can see all the colors, but it, it's not as fun. I don't know. I love watching people swatch things. Uh, and I think it's way more fun to watch the swatching. <laughs> but anyway, that's the, the shades there. I wore this palette all week and I'll put in screenshots of each look that I did and I'll just talk about each look. So on Monday, I wore on the crease, soft and sweet, and on the lid, drizzle it. And then on the inner corner, I put a little bit of cookie cutter. I also used the Fenty liner for this look. The only color, I think I used everything in this palette. Um, I did use, actually no, the only color I did not use in this palette I think is plenty of dough. So soft and sweet is the only color that I really had a hard time with. I really had a hard time blending this color. I really had felt like I had to pack it on. I don't know if it's the shade, if it's my skin tone. It just, I really struggled to get this to look the way in my mind that I wanted it to look. On Tuesday, I put for the gram in the crease, <laughs> again, this one's actually pigmented. So when I first went in with this, I was thinking it was gonna be like soft and sweet and I was quite pleasantly surprised. The pigmentation on this color is actually really good. On the lid, I put Candy Queen and on the outer corner, I put Gingerbread Glam. Now, I don't actually have a photo for this. It's a, I'll try and put in a screen clip of the video. I wore this in the Milk uh, Hydro Grip Primer video so if you watch that video you'll see that look that was probably like the most generic look that I did like the most easy everyday look I could have probably done a, another easy everyday look again I could have used plenty of dough with like cookie cutter and gingerbread glam like I feel like that would be a really nice simple soft look as well on Wednesday in the crease I put butterscotch dare I say it I kind of like mustard yellow so this is this is a mustard yellow but it's not it's more of like a dirty mustard yellow. Like it's definitely on the deeper side. It's not yellow, yellow. I like this color. I really, I was kind of not dreading, but I was like hesitant to use this color. It's not a color I'm drawn to. Whenever I see people pull out palettes, I'm like, oh, this is so lovely with the greens and the mustards. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really like any of that. <laughs> um, but I actually really liked this color. I kind of, I'm now intrigued to try other mustard colors. I never thought I would like yellow. I mean, I've used yellow with the Violet Boss, but that's like a yellow yellow. This is like that mustard yellow and people seem to really rave about it. And I, I think I kind of get why people are drawn to that color. It, it actually looked really, I was pleasantly surprised. So anyway, I put butterscotch in the uh, crease. In the inner corner, I did a mixture of vanilla wafers and lick the spoon. I didn't want it to be too sparkly. I wanted to kind of soften that a little bit. And then on the outer corner, I used cookie call. On Thursday, so this was a look that was, it felt very fall. And when I first did it, I was like, ooh, this is pretty dramatic. We'll get to the next day. On the outer corner and in the crease, I used cinnamon, stupid freaking name, just call it cinnamon. 
uh, I used in a pinch on the lid. So again, this was a, a matte. So the, both of those shades are matte. So I tried to keep this like a matte look entirely. And then just on the inner corner, I did a pop of like the gold glitter in half baked. It's it, I guess it's a gold shimmer, not glitter, sorry. And on this day, I also used my Piranata uh, liner. I can't think of the actual shade name. I think it's called Fig. It's like a purple. I really love pairing purples with orange, which makes a lot of sense because I'm pretty sure they're opposite on the color wheel. <laughs> I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but that I just, it really looks nice. It's one of those things that in the past, I never would have thought to put that together, but oranges and purples look really well together, especially if you're using like a muted orange with like a deep purple, you're going to get a really wearable uh, look that's very natural. Um, I shouldn't say natural, it's makeup, but it's not like, you know, bright orange and bright purple. It doesn't feel like costumey. It feels actually very everyday wearable. And on Friday, <laughs> so I thought Thursday's look was bold. Friday's look was extra bold. <laughs> so all over the lid, in the crease, I used the shade Extra Spicy. This color packs a punch. It was definitely very pigmented. <laughs> actually, halfway through the day, I was like, oh my god. Like, it lasted as well, but I actually took a clean brush and just sort of, like, blended it <laughs> to mute it down a little bit because I was like, oh my god. I feel like I'm, <clears throat> I'm very festive in fall and Halloween, like, with this eyeshadow look. And then on the lid, I used Spicy Mommy. So those two colors actually pair really well. Spicy Mommy looks darker in the palette, but once you actually put it on, it it's very similar in tone to Extra Spicy. So they worked really well. And again, I just sort of patted this gently on the lid. I didn't want it to be a super sparkly look. I just wanted to add some texture and some dimension. Uh, so it just wasn't one color flat look. And then for today's look, so... <laughs> I normally don't film sitting here. I film my like get ready's here because I did film this as a get ready and I didn't really care for the video so much. So I just garbaged it. We're not, we're not going to do that. Maybe I'll try and edit it into an Instagram video. I've never done that before. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that. We'll see how hard that is. And uh, anyway, I would try to go for, at first I was going to do midnight snack sort of all over the lid, do a really deep you know, smoky, sparkly look. Again, it's a shade that just doesn't fit in, in with the rest of the palette. Kind of wish they didn't put it in there. But I do have to go take Arlie to the vet today. And I did want to do a makeup look that was still bold, but wearable. I didn't feel too weird wearing it. So what I did was I put Hot Tamale on the outer corner. So that's the outer corner shade uh, you can see there. And then on the lid, I put mostly lick the spoon that's all over the lid and then I used a little bit of drizzle it to sort of blend the two colors together and then I used a tart uh, pot liner and then I put midnight snack over that liner I'm not sure how well that will translate on camera or in the photos but it, you can see it in person I mean it's very very subtle but you can see it so it was kind of nice to try and do that little bit of a twist and then I did pull those two colors the hot tamale and lick the spoon under the eye as well. So I'm really glad to have played with this palette. It's actually really good quality. So I mean, I'm sure you could pick this up. I'm sure there's people that probably sell this on Poshmark and other places if you are interested in this color scheme. Again, probably not entirely unique if you have other Too Faced palettes like the regular pumpkin spice. I'm pretty sure I saw Emily Noel pull that out recently and it looks very very pink um this one's definitely more subdued i remember seeing the original pumpkin or gingerbread spice and not really caring for it because it looked very bold uh but this one i definitely was more drawn to to me this is not really a palette that i feel like i need i'm looking at this palette and i feel like i have most of these shades in other palettes the unique shades probably for me is that butterscotch shade, the yellow shade. I definitely don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have that shade in any other palette. Spicy Mommy is pretty unique for me. I don't have any sort of deeper orange sparkle. Um, I'd say Hot Tamale and Cinnamon. Cinnamon is it's a pretty unique color. Like it's a, I'm sure, like I don't have a lot of palettes. If you have a lot of palettes, you probably have those two colors in other palettes. Uh, again, Hot Tamale, I don't really have too many deep fuchsias, I don't think. And Cinnamon is like an interesting burgundy, I don't know, pink, it's brown. I actually really like that shade. I would almost be tempted to like depot this and just keep some of the shades. It's again, not a necessarily like, I don't love this palette, but I definitely like it. 
and the quality is good. Like I said, all of the shades, I like the quality of all the shades except for that soft and sweet. It just doesn't perform the way I want it to perform. I'm curious if you do have this palette. I feel like not many people have this one. I feel like a lot of people went out and bought the gingerbread one. So then when they saw this, they're like, ah, I don't really need it because I have the gingerbread one. I missed out on the gingerbread one. But then, like I said, when I saw the gingerbread one, I was like, I don't know if I really like those colors. So when I saw this one, I was like, yeah, that's definitely up my alley. I do feel like all the looks fall in the same family. Like they all fall in like a pink or orange mid-tone family. And you kind of have... <laughs> Not a whole lot of variety, but again, it's a nice palette and it's definitely a palette that you can make everyday wearable looks and you can also add punches of color like that extra spicy, <laughs> extra spicy. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers, which means giveaway. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope you're doing well. Stay safe and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.